All right, back with a video about the Arlo Pro 4 XL camera. This is from Costco. I purchased it uh, just the other day, I think for $3.99. And um, it's a much bigger camera than what I've had before. If you look at my old videos, you can see that I have had an older system, but the service for that's going to run out, the monitoring service, pretty soon. So I purchased these new ones. And it comes packaged in this box here, as you can see. The thing just slides right off. And then you open it up, and the three cameras are right there on top. Pretty heavy. Uh, you're going to open those up and put a battery in there in just a minute. They're wrapped pretty good, and you can see they're much bigger than the other ones I used to have. Uh, and that's where you charge it. That's where you're going to hook it up to the mounting bracket. And there's the camera, and there'll be a light on there, too. So here's everything that's in the box, the three mounting brackets, the smart hub, the Ethernet cable, the um, plug for the Ethernet, or the hub. Uh, it's back on the back there, okay? Um, and then we have uh, the batteries, which you put in to charge. You have to put them in the camera to charge. The mounting brackets and some screws and stuff that go with it here, all included. And um, <clears throat> here's just uh, limited instructions, really. You kind of get most of the instructions from the app. So here you put the, you know, you put the battery in there. Uh, you can, you know, obviously hook it up where that part touches the other part inside, right there. And uh, then you'll slide it in and then you'll charge it. So this one's empty right now, that's, but that's where you charge it. That's your little charger there. Um, it only comes with one charger, but they're supposed to last for a year. So here's how you hook up the camera. You'll put it on there uh, and uh, screw it on onto the post. I just put some sheetrock screws. I didn't use the ones they gave me, but you screw the camera on there. And um, what you'll have then is a uh, place to mount it. You have to you know tie, loosen it up there. I'm trying to go over right and I'm going left so that that way you can move it around let me let me show you one here real quick all right here's one of the cameras that's already attached and so you screw it on to the little base there and you can mount it and then move that thing around you gotta tighten that pretty tight because it's a heavy camera then you have another little thing to secure it in place a little bit more so once you tighten it up you guys screw that in there too um, here's one that's charging this is how you connect the charger I've um, got the battery in there see the light comes on in low light it does that when um, you know again at nighttime or low light so like for example you can turn this on and off if you want to you can turn the whole device off and so I was sitting in the hot tub just the other night and it kept you know light kept turning on so I wanted to turn it off and uh, so you can do that from within the app a lot of the stuff is self-explanatory within the app and so uh, there's a lot of stuff you can set up in there and I'll show you that in just a minute you can schedule things and what have you I also added my old cameras to the hub I'm not sure how many cameras it'll support but I added another I think four existing ones I had again those aren't going to have the service anymore the monitoring service but I went ahead and added them in the meantime just to have them on my system and so uh, yeah this is a a nice big camera so this is a uh, you access the scheduling through the app and you can set up whatever you like I have another old video from that I'm not sure how that relevant that is anymore but yeah, you can do geofencing you can do all kinds of stuff you can put stuff in here to call a friend you can emergency response if you see something come on you can tell a neighbor to maybe put a package inside your garage or in their house and hold it for you and things like that but there's a lot of stuff within the app that's pretty self-explanatory and you can see I'm on an active trial right now um, and uh, here's all your settings and things you can access from the app. Alright guys, take care.